Hello Dragon and Crafters and welcome to yet another video. This is Warcraft of Dragon Productions and thank you for tuning in. Okay, so this is day four of Dawn Trail, the launch. Uh, it's not even fully released out yet, Dawn Trail. It will be released uh, tomorrow uh, by the time of this recording. Uh, so we're doing it right. We just had a bit of an early start and being a slow level like myself, was what was exactly what it was needed. Okay, so Dawn Trail number uh, day four. Ah, what a day it was. Finally, the MSQ picked up. First of all, I was adamant that I will continue just the MSQ. I will not be side uh, uh, distracted by anything else, sidetracked or anything. I just went on, did the MSQ. Uh, I only did like one dungeon to level up my Dark Knight to a level to complete some quests because I'm leveling two, at least two professions, two jobs. Uh, while I'm doing the MSQ of Dawn Trail, so yeah, I kind of wanted to keep it a bit level because all this XP, it's so significant. Like it's one million per pop per quest. It's a really, it's a really lot. And because I'm planning to level every single job, every little thing counts. Trust me, I've done this so many times already. Uh, so I kind of need to keep up the pace with that. Now let's talk about the MSQ. Uh, it has finally picked up a lot, the pace has been increased to a quite comfortable pace, I would say. I really enjoyed it. And now the story is starting to, you know, you know go to some directions that I enjoy. Uh, I still don't like the fact that they make Wuklamat the underdog, like so much of an underdog. Uh, and every turn they can find an opportunity to do that, they will just do it. Right, and I hate that. I like it's. It doesn't make sense to me that they would continue to, you know, do something like this. Like, uh, okay, I would, I would just spoil this. I'm sorry. Uh, minor spoilers again. The warning always uh, is there. Like at some point of the story, Kuklamont gets uh, kidnapped, right, uh, with a very stupid way of uh, being shown that way. Like, I don't get it. Like, I immediately, well, the moment I saw the thing happen, I was like, okay, yeah, uh, she doesn't mean it, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't know. I really don't know what to tell you about this. Uh, now, moving on, though, uh, we finally met the giants. Uh, the giant race of uh, Final Fantasy XIV, the Yokui, as uh, they are called. And, first of all, I was really impressed with how they're portrayed. Uh, then I saw another giant, and they explained why they're not so giant. Because the first thing I saw, like, they're not that big. Like, sure, like, they're, they're big, but not that big. Like, they're similar to uh, the elephant race uh, we saw. I don't remember the name. Uh, we saw, like, an expansion ago. Like, it's not that big, you know, right? And. Then I saw the true size of it, like, okay, this is a big one. Um, moving on, we finally found the entrance to the second dungeon. So we did the second dungeon, that, that's how we finished uh, today's stream. The second dungeon, oh, okay. I still prefer the first dungeon to the second, uh, like all the way through. Uh, but the final boss was really good, but we'll get the, the final boss, I'll explain things in a bit. Uh, okay, so we enter in, we basically climbing a mountain. The first boss of said dungeon, I already forgotten about it. Uh, it has some very interesting mechanics. Uh, basically, there are, it's like a full AoE is all the way around, but you first need to go to where there's ice. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna, I, like, this is really cool to see the fight because once I realize, it's like, oh, okay, this is how it goes. It was actually really smart, I really enjoyed it and uh, it was really fun but other than that it was like eh, okay whatever you know <laughs> it was a bit of whatever uh the scenery going to uh, boss from boss like climbing the mother was that was fantastic though to be uh, to be honest the second boss uh was completely underwhelming in my opinion uh like the only problem i had with that boss is because all of my group members were new to this, so we didn't really exactly know, so, you know, there, of course, there would be panic. There is a specific mechanic that is very easy. We have seen it, like, a countless times already. Uh, and I think that's the reason we actually, uh, we panic and then we realize what was going on. 
Uh, it, basically, it's an orb mechanic, so the closer you stack in, you leave a, a, a safe spot for everybody. That's pretty much the danger, but once you get used to this, nah, yeah, it, it's really underwhelming. I really did not like so much the second boss, although it was really picked up to be like this really menacing threat, and somehow it just didn't live up to your reputation. They were trying to build it in. Uh, the final boss, however, which I will not say the name uh, to avoid like some of the spoilers. Uh, I even, I'm not even gonna put it in the video. I'm not even gonna put the final boss in the video because I kind of want to keep this a secret. Uh, but the final boss, oh my god, that was so good. There were different stages. Uh, I think its mechanics are con constantly repeating and r at random times. Like there will be three sets of uh, the three various mechanics he has regarding summoning a few stones and then I think it's random I haven't I've done done it once so I don't really know I will be checking out more of it tomorrow uh, but yeah so far I really like it so that's pretty much the story so far uh, the pace has really picked up uh, by a lot um, now I'm going to continue again the story of MSQ I have all the way I don't really mind I was really expecting uh, like today to be really close to finishing or even finishing the MSQ but it, it's actually really a lot uh, which says a lot like I'm playing for hours already like for hours literally and I'm still not even, not even near the halfway point uh, which is where I wanted to, to reach today but yeah I could not stream any longer uh, it was even like for five hours so like okay it's time to stop you know work and streams that many hours it, it takes a toll on the body plus you know I still have to do uh, the cooking around the house and stuff like that, you know, I need to eat. Uh, but uh, I really enjoyed it, my time today. It was a bit, it was a bit quieter stream than the other days, so I didn't do too many things. But I'm just doing MSQ. Uh, I'm really looking forward to finish the MSQ so I can start doing all the really good things I really want to do, like uh, constantly doing some dungeons and trials, leveling up, doing hunts, doing trails, doing, doing trains, all that good stuff that I missed. I really want to do that, but I want to focus on the MSQ first, uh, so we can go from there. So, this is what I'll leave you with day 4 of Don't Trail MSQ. I will be seeing you tomorrow, and I hope you all have a great day or night or whatever it is you're having. Have a good one, y'all. Love you. Bye.